Hello everybody and welcome to my first uh, commentary video of a Star Wars Battlefront 2 video that is, uh, I'd say, probably very slightly uh, modified so to speak. Uh, so we're playing uh, the attack slash defend game mode uh, that's co-op with the instant action overhaul extra large mod by Mophead. As you can see also as well we've got a whole load of extra characters. What we'll be doing is playing a 50v50 attack defend game mode with uh, the AI having all these reinforcements enabled as well as well as the heroes and we're just gonna see what sort of gameplay we get out of it so let's go for it. As the Empire will be defending on Endor Comscan has detected an incoming rebel force here on this moon. Stand your ground and don't let them through. So, obviously, the AI is playing to my um, settings, really, so to speak. So, they're going to gain uh, reinforcement points at a same rate as me. Not any quicker, not any slower. Just depends on how they do. And uh, with this AI mod as well, um, they do it does sort of change how the AI works. So they are going to be much more smarter about the abilities and how they play, doing more combat rolling and activating their abilities uh, better to the situation at hand. And uh, I believe uh, the, the respawn. Now, obviously, as this is AI, it is going to be a little bit janky. It's not going to be, you know, as as good as a Kyber server. But I'd say it certainly does the job of sort of like a uh, semi-realistic galactic assault with a full AI lobbies. Now, the AI doesn't usually uh, interact with uh, objectives. They sort of just be able to um, capture areas, but they do capture it quite well. As you can see, obviously, we're all falling back. The AI will advance very slowly back, trying to get as many kills as possible. And you will probably sometimes see the AI getting into some vehicles, but they can be quite janky and they sort of behave as if they are still um, like humans. They won't be very spatially aware. Oh, Christ, like me. But yeah, uh, it's not just uh, the Imperials outside that have got the extra reinforcements and heroes. Uh, it will be... Uh, the enemy team as well so you, later on we will definitely see them get some more uh, reinforcements and heroes coming in there's quite a lot of them there as well but yeah you see the AI they'll put turrets in the way pretty well smartly placed actually as best as you can get with them and they'll try and target uh, things to help them as well such as this this is a rebel saboteur so they're very good at very getting very close with hard hitting attacks. Very close up with high damage. And I tell you what, they do love to clump together. Oh. But what we'll do is we'll come in as one of the reinforcements. I think uh, we might come in as a purge trooper commander. As I said, the arrow is not a bit, can be a bit slow, but it does the job. And they move about, and one thing I do quite like about this is enemy AI. It's not as if they know where you are all the time. They only react to you if they can see you generally. I've got prime. And, we, and I believe that Rebel Saboteur, or one of the new reinforcements, they can call in orbital strikes. So, and that's called it on our position. To 
try and loosen us up. But, oh, we've got a purse trooper there. And another one here. So the AI seems to be thinking this is quite a good reinforcement to be doing. Some jarring as well, the Mandalorian. I can hear an orbital strike, I believe, but I couldn't see it. But as you can see, the AI will go up above the side, try and do some nice flanks. Ah, Jesus. Christ. <laughs> I think we'll be a shadow troop. Let's see if we can get some nice flanks of them. Up here. Now I will leave uh, the links oh, of all the available mods that I got from Nexus. Uh, I believe quite a few of the heroes and reinforcements, however, I've downloaded and they're not available at all anymore. I believe uh, it was BTEC Math who uh, uploaded it originally. But some, are, well, a majority, would, I'd say, are still available. That's what I mean. It's massive battles going on, and they'll use their abilities, trying to get as close together as possible. Okay, they're not the smartest still, because obviously they'll go into the Dioxys. But they use their abilities pretty smart, and it's not like they're willingly just throwing grenades everywhere. Got an incinerated trooper there, a flamethrower. Oh, I can't go up that. That will go to B. They're coming to get that. Ooh. Now, some reinforcements um, only have set standard abilities. Such as out of previous reinforcements or characters. But, oh. They still work pretty well. I think what we'll do is we'll play as a... Uh, or heavy. Oh, that's no... Uh, oh, no. I always picked a hero. I think what we'll do is be an officer. See if we can get some support of our teammates here. I think we're about to lose it. Oh, hey, anyway, I've got a hero coming up. That has Luke Skywalker or Yoda. I saw a green lightsaber. Oh, that's... Loads of them there. Yeah, I think that's Luke Skywalker there. Oh, no, it's Yoda. It is Yoda. AI can be a bit clunky, but it is what it is. But they will spread themselves out and come out a bit, a bit far away from the objective. Christ. 
Oh, they're just spamming grenades. <laughs> uh, I think we'll be in a ATST. Why not? We'll showcase uh, some of the heroes later on in the last. Play some nice close quarters combat fighting. Is that the second sister? Oh, no, it's Kylo. I believe we had a Vi Pro Viper Droid about as well. An enemy commander is on site. Oh, there is it. Yeah, the AI would seem to like not really think that this is a uh, vehicle. <laughs> After all, this is just a mod with normal AI. That'll focus on uh, the players. I think BB. Uh, it's a bit, it is BB. BB8. It's not that much of a threat, really. I might be able to just crush it. Oh, they are, they are attacking me quite well, actually. Oh, that's on take B. General Grievous here. And he goes flying. I'm flying through the air. Oh, got to get the stat. Oh, there's it. So it's going to be tight. And Finn, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm getting hit real bad from that. Oh, I'm getting real stuck around it. I need to move. This ain't going well. So holding this part well, quite well down. Oh, is that Anakin? I believe so. So I believe later on in the stages, as this, uh, as I say, uh, the sectors come go along more, uh, the AI will use more heroes. I think in the first sector, they what they can do is just a maximum of uh, one hero on each. Obviously, I can play it whenever. But on the last stage, you can get as many as four heroes on both sides going. The AI will do three. And obviously, I could, on my side, AI on the other side will do four. A little bit of texturing, tearing going on there. Time is fast running out for the rebel. Just hold for a little longer. I sort of want to hold back here. I sort of let them take it. So sort of just watch them. No, no, we have won it. Okay. And I think that's remnants of my ATSD. <laughs> so that's our my first video with commentary. Uh, if you think of it. Any recommendations you think of to make this a little bit better? Perhaps my microphone. It's the first time using my microphone really on a PC game. Uh, but if you want to see anything or got any suggestions or any questions about the mods, uh, just give me a, give me let me know in the comments below. But yeah, uh, it seems to be quite popular at the moment. I thought I'd just test the waters. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more gameplay with me commentary as well, doing it, playing it. Then just let me know. But I hope everyone has a great day. Alright, I'll see you later.